Hey guys, it's Adam here from D-Pad News TV, and for today we're going to be looking at the second map for the First Strike DLC for Call of Duty Black Ops. So we are looking at Stadium, which is a relatively medium-sized map. Um, I, I wouldn't, I don't think it's the smallest of the four, but it's not very big either. So it's good for close range weapons. Um, here I'm using the Commando with the Reflux Sight and Suppressor. Uh, and I believe I'm running with Ghost Pro, Warlord Pro, and either Hacker or Marathon. Uh, so I'm going to get this guy pretty quick into the game. And uh, Stadium is basically just that. It's uh, um, not really a stadium. Uh, it's more like an ice rink. And the convenient area. I, I pretty much pictured this being, a, if there was ever a war in Canada, this is what it would be. <laughs> right? And only with more snow, of course. Of course, right? I mean, I look outside and there's probably about, uh, let's see. Because of snow might get in. Or as I like to call it, snow might get it on. <laughs> yeah, just knock the bike over. Get it? It's going to be a porno if you didn't get it. Snow might get it on. Okay, you, I forget how young you guys are. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is basically an ice rink, and then the convenience area outside. So once again, it's it's a relatively medium-sized map. Um, once again, I'm not sure if it's the smallest of the four, but it's not very big at the same time. So um, <clears throat> overall, uh, I'm finding that these maps are really kind of campy. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I'm, or, well, really, I think it's just the fact that it's the 360, so a lot of people can't work regardless. Um, so, it's really kind of, hey, look, okay, yeah, I'm using Hacker. Um, so, it's just a lot of things like that, and this guy, man, are you kidding me? Camping with a flamethrower? Um, flamethrowers actually are not used very often. I know it's something that is lacking on the Wii, but let me tell you, I haven't even used it yet, but I guess it takes quite a bit to take people down. Probably, I believe it's it's a little bit more than it was in World at War to take somebody down. Um, for those of you who have not played World at War, uh, the flamethrower was in that game, and uh, you can take people out pretty quickly with flamethrower. Or with the flamethrower, but at that time it was a it was a perk uh, rather than an attachment. Now watch this. When I uh, so I'm gonna kill this guy up here. Okay. Now watch when I reload. You're gonna see. Look at the flame. Yep. I'm on fire. <laughs> um, I actually do enjoy using the commando with the uh, reflex and the silencer. I do quite well with it. I I I think anyways and um. I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent about this map, to be completely honest. Uh, at times, it's it's really a good map. It's decent. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, uh, you know, I don't really know what to think. Uh, once again, a lot of these maps are campy made. Um, and now I'm getting tubed. So it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. I mean... Awesome. You heard nothing. <laughs> um, so I hope everybody is safe after Snoma get it on hit. So be careful if you have to drive and stuff. Yeah, that's right. I I'm being a good guy. Double kill. That should be. What? How's that a not a double kill? Son of a. <laughs> Um, so once again, I'm probably going to be covering these maps all week long, and, um, maybe do the Armories video soon. Um, for those of you who have an Xbox and would like to add me, please do. I always like friends, especially on my Xbox, because there's not a lot of them. <laughs> Um, so you can add me, it's Dark Swami. it's on the main channel. Um, for those of you looking to add us, and when I say us, it's Michael, Isaac, and I, on the Wii, once again, you have to be a subscriber, and you can find those friend codes on the main channel. 
if you say, hey, add us, yeah, we're not going to add you. I'm sorry. It, it really doesn't make a difference to us uh, to kind of go out of our way to add you, and you're the one who wants to be added. So understand that uh, it does add some extra work for us because we do do a, quite a bit of work. Not to be an ass, but I'm just saying. Um, now, there are a lot of high-level rises uh, I have noticed in the upgrade uh, a lot of building ledges that you can go on uh, such as this one and uh, I quite enjoy it actually I, I think it's a good addition and I really think you guys are gonna like these maps when they do hit the Wii um, sometimes sometime in March um, for those of you who did not know that um, it still hasn't been released on what date that will be taking place um, but I do assure you it will be sometime in March so stay tuned we will let you know when that date's announced um, and hopefully we get these maps because my fear too is that these aren't the maps that we are gonna get um, for those who are unaware um, the possibility maybe you're not gonna get the it, okay well the reason I say that I'm not completely sure whether or not we'll get this because there are certain aspects of games that we don't have yet. Um, for example, yeah, uh, we don't have five uh, for the zombie map, so that might be what our DLC is. But time will tell. Hopefully, we get the first strike map pack in its whole. And uh, so that's going to do it for me. Uh, so this is Stadium again, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.